Got the Z way up in the air today because there are several projects that I've been meaning to take on and we're going to try to check a couple off the list. Very simplest, uh, okay, I don't wanna jinx myself, but the smallest scale project is we gotta replace the bushings on the front sway bar because I've heard some creaking and stuff coming from the front end, which I don't like. I actually have a feeling that it's coming from the crappy adjustable upper control arms that the previous owner put on this car. So we're gonna try to take care of that because I do have some Z1 Motorsports uh, adjustable control arms for the Z. Uh, I do have to change uh, the motor mounts. Don't think I'm gonna get to those today either, but I do have to install the Z1 Motorsports trans brace. So that's what we're gonna do today, as well as those bushings for the front sway bar. I try to stiffen this car up a little bit. So of course, we're going after this guy today. Just a few bolts, remove it, replace it, put it back. This is not the trans mount itself. It's just a, a racket holding everything in place. I also have these centering springs that I want to replace while I'm under here, but it's pretty tight. This little cap right there, there's another on the other side. Open those up and pull the spring out and this helps firm up the, the centering of your, you know, 
shifter in the car. Just use an adjustable wrench. Actually the biggest one I got. Opened all up, almost all the way up and was able to get a hold of it. Springs in there so it'll want to pop out. The hardest part is getting it the thread started again. Kind of have to press it in with one hand and twist it with the other. Just for reference, this is where we're at on the car, directly above the trans brace. This one's a bit tighter, but you can still reach it with an adjustable wrench. Hopefully we can get it out with our fingers here. I definitely want to drive it, but I can certainly feel the difference in the shifter now. It's much more firm. It just really brings it back to center. And uh, I mean, a lot more firmness, a lot more. There was so much slot before, just a jiggly mess before. So this is, this is going to be nice. They actually make it pretty simple. The key is to slide that whole brace over to the driver's side and then it comes right down and the same the reverse is true for putting it back just slide it back up there with it over to the driver's side a little bit more and then you jam it over to the passenger side and it should fit up nice and snug kind of puts everything back in place i swear to god every time i drive this thing there's new rattles or creaks or noises it's hard to tell down the road here you know a lot of people have said that they've found there to be a lot of vibration in the cabin after installing this trans mount I, I feel a little bit to be honest I can feel it under my seat but it's not like a crazy vibration but it, it just it makes the car feel more solid so I actually see it as a plus I just feel like the car is more solid it feels good to me <laughs> little vibration in the seat favorite ramp still need mode. 
to talk into the camera in this car. It's just, it's ridiculous. But the main point that I want to make with the Z1 Motorsports transmission brace for the 350Z is that it's an essential upgrade at this point. These cars are getting up to that 20 year old, 15 year old age range. And a lot of these rubber components are failing. They're dried out and brittle and they just don't do what they're supposed to do. So uh, from that standpoint alone, this is a, a huge upgrade. But if we really talk about it thoroughly and we consider the price point, uh, the ease of installation, and the fact that it makes such a huge impact on how the car feels overall and performs overall, uh, it's really hard to beat this upgrade. So uh, just follow this video as a guide only. I'm not a professional, I'm not a mechanic. This is just simply how I was able to install this, but it is well worth it, I gotta say. Big shout out to Z1 Motorsports for a great, another great part. And of course, for the support, the continued support that they're showing for this 350Z project. And thank you guys very much for the continued support as well. We got a lot of stuff coming for the channel this summer. And I look forward to it. I hope you guys will follow along. Appreciate the continued support up to this point. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And of course, check the description for any links for the parts installed in this car in this video. So more stuff coming. Thank you guys very much for watching this one. See you in the next one.